In the previous video, I talked about how to get the supply curve of an individual firm in the short run. Now I'm going to talk about how to get the supply in the market, supply curve in the, of the market. And then I will talk about how to get an equilibrium in the short run. Okay. Market supply curve is merely a sum, sum of all the individual firms supply curves. Okay. So what you do is again, um, uh, in the previous lecture, I talked about how to get the market demand curve. There you had to do the, all the horizontal sum of the individual demand curves. Okay. Here in the market supply, to get the market supply curve, you have to do the horizontal sum of all the individual firms supply curve. Okay. Again, you have to be careful with the ranges. Between these prices, 220 and 22, in this example, there is only one firm supplying. So you just draw this firm supply. Between 22 and 24, there are two firms supplying, okay, from one and from two. Okay, so you do the horizontal sum there, so it becomes a bit wider, and then you have the kink point here. And above 24, there are all the firms are supplying, and it becomes even wider. Okay, so you do the horizontal sum of all the three firms supply. Okay, so you can get the market supply by doing the horizontal sum of the all the individual firms supply. Okay. <clears throat> In the short run, it's a perfectly competitive equilibrium occurs when the market supply is equal to market demand. Okay, so, and market supply, both market supply and market demand are all the uh, sum of the firm's supply curve or or the the sum of all the individual demand curve. Okay, so. Okay, so let's assume that this is the a firm's uh, individual firm's supply curve. When the market price is P star, let's say that this firm uh, produces Q star. Okay, so in the market, let's assume that there are 100 identical firms. Okay, so in the market, there will be 100 Q star quantity and so that's the equilibrium because market supply meets the market demand curve. Okay, so that's this intersection point is called short run perfectly competitive equilibrium. Okay, so in the short run, the equilibrium occurs like this. So now let's look at the example. Let's assume that the market consists of the 300 identical firms. And the market demand is given by 60 minus P. And you're given with this uh, short run total cost curve for each firm. Okay. To simplify the problem, it's an assumption. Let's assume that all fixed costs are sunk. Okay. So there is no non sunk fixed cost. So this is the sunk cost. Okay. Now, can you get the short run equilibrium? Okay, price and the quantity in this market. Please stop the video for the few minutes and try this example by yourself. Okay, so in the short run, you have this total cost, in this example. Um, you always get the average non sum cost. Okay, you have to check the shutdown price. A and S C because we assume that 0 0.1 is the sum cost. Okay, A and S C is uh, 150Q. M C you get the M C take derivative with respect to Q. Okay, A and S C equal to M C. Okay, you get Q S the shutdown quantity and shutdown price both equal to zero. Okay. Okay, now the what is the supply curve? Supply curve is simply P equals MC. Okay, because your shutdown price is zero, as so a shutdown quantity is zero. 
Okay, you have the simple uh, supply curve here equals MC, which is 300Q, and then uh, solve for Q. Okay, so individual from supply curve, QP, small QP is equal to P over 300. But in the market, there are 300 identical firms. So this quantity, supplied quantity times 300 will be the total supply in the market, which is simply P. Okay, so QP equals P. This is the supply curve in the market, aggregate supply curve. And we are given with the um, demand curve, which is 60p minus p. So let's get the intersection. Qp, Q, this is supply. Supply equals demand gives p star q star equals 30. Okay. So what is the individual from supply curve? So in the market, there are 30. So 30 divided by 300, which is 0.1. This is the individual firm's supply in the equilibrium. Okay. Now let's check what is the profit. Okay. What is the profit of each individual firm? The profit is simply total revenue minus total cost. Okay. And you calculate the profit, you get 1.4. So each firm makes profit, positive profit. Okay, so why am I checking the profit? It's because I want to emphasize that in the short run, firms can make the positive profit. Okay, but later I will show that in the long run, uh, firms make zero profit. Okay, but in this example, you verify that in the short run, in this example, firm's profit can be positive.